now it's time for the genius of Simon Munro. Good evening, Melbourne. Hey, uh, I've got a uh, catchphrase for you. Uh, my new catchphrase. It's uh, you should see my back garden. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> so uh, I've got children. What I mean, sounds a bit. Like I've got lice, doesn't it? Might have lice, might be related. Actually, I've got a lice-related monologue. I should perform my lice-related monologue uh, in my best approximation of a Winston Churchill voice. I note the lice have finally conquered my eyebrows. <laughs> More fool them. It's only a matter of time before the hairline recedes and they're left stranded. <laughs> then what? In breeding, in fighting, possibly at the same time, a series of vicious wars between the two rival colonies. Until at last, with both follicular forests denuded, they'll be forced to make a dash for it. But where? South, along the wind-battered ridge of the nose, perhaps to the seeming safety of the nostril, only to be blown to kingdom come by the next volcanic sneeze. <laughs> or east, towards the ear, hoping to navigate its infinite complexity without map or compass, only to find a few dry tufts in a quagmire of wax. <laughs> and then, with all options exhausted, they'll be forced back, back across the ever-widening desert of the forehead. That's when I'll get them. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. So, I said I've got children. How I came to have children is a little unusual. Well, I didn't use a spoon or anything, traditional penis vagina system. <laughs> uh, I met my wife in Melbourne. I said, What are you doing here? And um, she was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. That's true, it's absolutely true. That, that wasn't the first conversation I had with my wife. First conversation I had with my wife, well, she wasn't my wife at the time, you don't get married, then talk. <laughs> I was doing a gig at Melbourne International Comedy Festival and she heckled me and I married her as a form of put-down. <laughs> Hasn't worked, she's proliferated. Uh, I say, how I came to have children's unusual in that 10 years ago I had testicular cancer and I had a testicle removed uh, by a surgeon, it was proper. <laughs> Not some bloke in the pub, but they'll have it offers. Anyway. <laughs> Testicle removed, next thing, wife pregnant. I didn't need the other one, it's holding me back. <laughs> when my first one was born, we came out of the hospital, Homerton Hospital in Hackney, with this tiny little baby, it's like Christmas something, it's an amazing, beautiful creature. We got in a taxi to go home. As we set off, the taxi driver goes, what is it, boy or girl? And I went, oh, um, girl. And he goes, oh yeah, I've got girls. You know they steal. And since then, I've asked girls, I said, do you ever steal? And they go, no, no, no. I go, from your dad? And they go, that's not stealing. <laughs> anyway, that's all for me. Thank you very much. God bless. Good night. Simon.